seven winter accessories. I know seven's kind of an odd number to have for an uh, accessories video, or I mean like a video of my top items to wear, but I couldn't find a couple other things and I don't think I would have ended with an even number anyhow. So yeah, I'm just doing seven today. Accessories, I feel like, are really something that people underestimate quite a lot. They're just, they add so much to an outfit and they can change an outfit so much. So I feel like it's really important to pay attention to the kinds of accessories you wear. Um, and I especially pay attention to how my accessories play into my outfit because I do feel that they make a big impact on my style and my outfits every day. So with that being said, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys like this video. So the first item that I'm going to be talking about is something that I think everyone wears every single year, and something that can really affect your wardrobe every single day, and that would be sunglasses. So the first pair is my ribbon sunglasses, and I didn't buy these, I got these from my grandma. She had had them for, I think, a couple of decades, and she never really wore them that much, at least in the last few years. She's 91 now, so she doesn't really go out as much as she used to, and I don't know if these are maybe too small on her now, but I um, got them from her, and I really like them. They are just the aviator sunglasses with the tortoise shell kind of pattern on them, which I feel is really flattering. It's not quite as harsh, and it's definitely, I think it's really appropriate for the fall, and also for um, the summertime. I feel like it goes a little bit, it's a little, it's less harsh obviously than black sunglasses like these ones, which I just got from H&M. I actually was going to show my cat eye sunglasses, which are probably my favorite out of all my sunglasses because I feel like they flatter me the most, but I thought I would show these since I couldn't find them. These are really affordable, they were under, I think they were on sale, so about $5 or something like that. You don't have to spend a lot on sunglasses to get a nice pair, but I do think you need to pay attention to the style of the sunglass and how it reflects your style. Like cat eye sunglasses obviously are more oversized, more like that old Hollywood kind of glamour style. And so if you're uh, more of a girly girl and you like kind of more dramatic looking sunglasses, then I would say cat eyes are the way to go. If you are more of a more of a subdued look than maybe um, or like a cool kind of look then aviator sunglasses would be the way to go. If you like to stick with trends that that come and go as far as sunglasses go, then you can get relatively new, pretty inexpensive sunglasses anyhow that are in the trends. And I think right now those little tiny sunglasses are in style from like the 2000s, which I'm not sure how I feel about, but you can also go with that. So I think the thing you need to pay attention to as far as sunglasses is just how it reflects your personal style um, rather than how much they cost you or how much, like the quality of them, which you can invest in sunglasses. I mean, you're going to wear them every single day and if you get one really nice pair, then I don't think it's a waste of money to spend a little more on a pair of sunglasses if you wear it, because obviously you wear it every day in the winter and the summer and basically every year for the rest of your life. Sunglasses, I know not necessarily everyone wears them in the winter, but where I live, it's super bright in the winter. I mean, the snow reflects the light so much. Sunglasses are an, es an essential year round. But especially, even though this is winter accessories, especially in the winter, sometimes even more than the summer, because you can get blinded by snow, it's a thing. You can get blinded by snow, and it's something definitely you want to avoid. So the next accessory is something I have a couple of different options of, and that is headbands. The headbands are something that you can wear again every day, and it just really changes up your look a little bit. I know right now a lot of the headbands that are in style are those big padded headbands with lots of maybe glitz to them, but I'm not really as big a fan of them. I feel like the padded headbands really look out of proportion to my head, and they always make them for people who are a lot taller than me, which of course then they have bigger 
proportions, a like just padded headband to my like short size. A lot of them are really, really, really big. I got a few of those in the summer, not realizing how big they were when I ordered them. And I feel like they just don't flatter me very much. So I instead have gone for this fall a flat headband. This is in faux leather, which I feel like is really great for fall and obviously good for winter too. And again, this is a winter accessory. Um, so you can wear this in the last couple of weeks of fall or in throughout the winter because brown is still a really staple color in the winter time. You can wear white and brown and really stick to the neutral palette of creams, whites, browns, and the occasional... Do I wear other colors? I mean, I have this sweater, which is obviously another color like pink or green usually. I don't usually go much for colors like this, although I am trying to branch out. We'll just go with everything this winter and it just adds something extra to your outfit and makes it a little bit more interesting. Another headband option I have is a pearl headband. So this is obviously not a full pearl headband. It has some kind of like rhinestones, but pearl headbands as a whole are still really big and still absolutely perfect for winter style. These have like irregular type pearls. I don't know if you can see very well. I might bring it closer. I have irregular pearls which are on trend still. I believe they were very on trend in the spring. Everything pearl was irregular shaped and it's still a trend this, this fall and winter. So I think that's a really good option. You can't buy this because I actually got it when I was in K-Town in Los Angeles last year, but I will try to find something similar if I can, and yeah, so I think a pearl, a pearl headband would be a great accessory for this winter. And finally, I just have a basic black headband, but the thing that makes this really special is the little knot at the top. This is something really on trend for this fall, winter, it's been on trend since last year is when I got it, um, and it'll probably be on trend for the next few years. Even if it's not an on-trend style, it's still a really cool piece and will look good year after year and outfit after outfit. I don't have too much black. I feel like black for me is really unflattering. It still go it goes with everything I have, and as an accessory like this, where it's just a headband, I don't think it's too much to have black for a headband. I feel like black may be a little dark and dreary in clothing, that's just my personal opinion. I don't really like wearing black so much. I prefer brown, but I feel like with a headband it's perfect because it'll go with everything like I said. And I feel like usually I don't like wearing brown with black, but for a headband I totally would because it's not, I don't think it's that severe of a contrast as it is when you're wearing like a brown top with a black pair of pants. So this would be a definitely great option, and I think I saw some exactly like this again at H&M this year, so if I can find it, I'll link it down below. So the next item that I'm going to be talking about for another, oh, another great winter accessory is a pearl necklace. So pearls work great obviously in the spring, and they work great year-round essentially, however I feel like they shine the most in the winter and the spring. They just go so well and they, I feel like, set, go so well with the tone, I guess, of um, the season. So I really like wearing pearls uh, during this time of year. Pearls obviously will go with every single thing that you have for years and years to come. And you're probably not going to need to get another one because, I mean, I don't think you can grow out of pearls necessarily. As you get older, they're still really cool and they still go with everything. If you're younger, you can wear them. I mean, they're just really great for everything. These are from End of Their Stories, and I don't believe they, no wait, they did have it in stock again. I bought these in the spring. They're still in stock from End of Their Stories, and I will link them, but um, if not, I'll try to find something similar. In the spring, at least, they came out with tons of necklaces like this with the irregular pearl shape. And I feel like the irregular pearl just adds um, a little bit of a modern twist to the classic piece. And these are kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but they're kind of shimmery almost. They have an iridescence to them. 
So obviously they don't look like real pearls, but because <laughs> they are irregular shaped and they have, although there are like Baroque pearls which are shaped similar to this, but they have an ear distance to them which just adds, I feel like, a little bit, especially during the Christmas season, of a Christmas shine, I guess, to your Christmas outfits. So yeah, overall pearls I think are a great option for winter and something you can wear every single day with every outfit, essentially for the entire season, and in the spring too. The next item that I'm going to show you is something to keep you warm during the winter. I will probably be doing a video on just on how to stay warm and still keep your style because let's be honest, it's difficult when you're freezing cold to wear things that are... It's very difficult to prioritize style over warmth, to be honest. Especially when it's below zero out and you can't fathom how you're going to be outside in, say, a skirt, even with tights. Like, you just have so many layers. And something to help with prioritization of style is your warm accessories and um, one accessory is a bobble hat. I don't know if that's the correct term for these hats. It's like a beanie with a little faux fur thing on the top but that's what I heard it called so that's what I'm gonna call it. This one is a really cute one from Vera Bradley. I got it when I was in the Edinburgh Outlets and it has this really cute faux, faux fur um, like ball at the top and then this really cute polar bear pattern. And normally blue is not really my color, but I feel like it's perfect for winter time because most likely I'll be wearing my white and other stories coat with brown trim and this will just match perfectly and look like a like cute winter wonderland outfit. So I really like this, it's lined on the inside with faux fur and obviously because it was at the outlets I won't be able to find this exact one. Well actually I might on their website. I will try to find it on their website but I just really like this look. I think it looks so winter chic with the polar bears like something you would see maybe at a ski resort or something somebody wearing. So I really like this style and I think this is a perfect way to stay warm and be stylish in winter time. Alright, so the next item that I'm going to be talking about is really small, but something that can make an impact in your outfits, and that is scrunchies. So scrunchies, especially the ones with these little tails, can really add something to an outfit. Um, I think for fall and winter, you need to really pay attention to the patterns and the materials especially. That's what I'm saying with everything. I think material especially is something that can completely transform an outfit from being uh, something that could be worn in the spring to something that could be worn in the fall. And you could wear the same color, or fall and winter, um, or summer, something in summer to something you could wear in the winter. So, for example, if you were wearing a white dress, that might seem something you would wear in the summer, but if it was made out of like a velveteen material, obviously it would seem like something you should wear in the winter, although I don't know if that's something you'd wear other than at like a special occasion, but you get my point. Like this purple would probably be something you wouldn't necessarily think of in the winter, or sage green, which is extremely popular for fall and winter at this moment, and has been for a couple of years, um, that sage pistachio green. You would think normally it'd be a spring-summer color, but when the material is changed, and instead of being a really light, airy material, it's um, a thicker material, it changes the look of it completely and makes it look much more appropriate for the fall and winter, even if it's not a classic trend that has been going for years and years that people have been wearing during these seasons. So the same goes for scrunchies and other accessories. The material, like this, is a satin, so that's very wintry. And also that it has this beautiful, um, like pink and gold and black um, accents and the gold is in this kind of intricate detailing. I think that looks really, really nice for winter 
and will add something really cute to any outfit. I got this from H&M, so I will link it down below. I say that all I would say that also velvet scrunchies or velveteen scrunchies would be a really great option for fall and win for winter. I will also say that velvet scrunchies would be a great option for winter um, to add and change up your outfits. I would say those are probably the most winter-esque scrunchies. Obviously, you could also do leather, but leather is, in my opinion, more of like a fall color, especially brown leather, faux leather, obviously, faux leather scrunchies is more of a fall trend, and I think velvet scrunchies is more of a winter trend. They just add a little something extra to your outfit and make it a little bit more cute, I think, especially with, like I said, the little tail. I think you just add something really cute to any outfit. So the next to last item that I'm going to talk about is something that can definitely help with the whole staying warm but being stylish, and that is tights. So I have a couple of pairs here. I do not own black tights, and I don't advocate for black tights in the fall and winter. I think that black tights obviously look cool. But I think that if you're trying to, especially for me, if I'm trying to go for more of like a soft, like girly kind of look, I don't think it's necessarily that flattering for to have your, especially if I want to wear brown and cream, to have all of a sudden black tights and then whatever color shoe I have. So I think brown tights are a great option for doing that, for being warm and stylish in the winter, not having to compromise by just wearing black tights with whatever outfit you're wearing. For me, it's a compromise because, I mean, wearing tights in general is a compromise because I'm not a huge fan all the time of the look, and it's a little bit more difficult because then you have to coordinate everything, like brown tights, make sure everything else, obviously my clothes are probably brown and cream, but then my shoes need to be brown and they can't be like, it probably wouldn't look as good if they were over the knee boots versus ankle boots so I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to style but also because I feel like black tights versus brown tights are more of a compromise because again it just doesn't go with the look I'm trying to go for and so I'm glad that I have a pair of brown tights that I can wear to meet in the middle and not compromise too much on my style for the sake of being warm and again I'll probably wear I probably won't wear skirts so much when it's below zero, but even with tights, that's still pretty cold. But yeah, I think that it's a great option for those days when it's not quite as 10 degrees below zero, half a foot of snow or something like that outside. Another great option would be um, like beige tights like these. I haven't found anything that I can wear these yet because most of my skirts are brown. And so brown with cream is too much of a contrast. I'm looking for maybe like a, a cream or white skirt that I could wear. And in that case, it would be much more of a, you know, a long line of just similar, similarly matching colors. Uh, it'd be a long line of matching colors and everything would kind of go well together. And I also don't really have a really light pair of shoes. I feel like it would be too much of a contrast wearing black shoes or black boots with the beige cream tights so i am looking for some stuff like that but it's definitely a good option if you have a lot of light color that you want to wear in the winter and finally one of my favorite items for for this whole video i would say and the last item for my accessories video of what you top accessories to wear in the winter time is this bag and it's not just this bag specifically, but the style of this bag. So quilting is huge this season. Especially, it's huge every year, but this year especially, the equestrian style, the quilted jackets, quilted bags, quilted everything is something really in style right now. And it will be something that's in style for years and years and years to come. So if you buy a bag, you should keep in mind that it isn't something that's a fast fashion trend. It's a trend, but it's not fast fashion. It's something that you can use every year and be completely on in, completely on trend and completely in style for the season. Um, this one specifically is from Aldo, and I feel like the color is perfect for winter. It's kind of a darker, nudie 
color for winter versus I've worn it all year round but I feel like it definitely goes the best for the fall and winter looks and it has this really nice bold toned detailing which I feel like also is much more of a winter which I feel like also goes really well for the winter kind of style in fall um, it also has the gold detailing which I think also looks really nice for winter time and yeah I think that this kind of bag is just a perfect thing to buy and if you get one bag this whole season I would get a quilted bag because it's just the most stylish bag trend right now. I mean even designer brands are taking their classic trends like the DNG Sicily bag they're classic, not trends, they're classic pieces, and turning them into quilted bags and making them more on that style. So I think it's definitely something on trend. I think it's definitely something you should consider buying this season. So that is it for my winter accessories video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave it in the comments, the comment section down below. I will be sure to um, link everything that I can find in the description so that you can also shop some of these items if you would like to. And I will see you next week.